gal, Stephanie Osborne, Century 21 Soriano Associates, and I just wanted to touch on really quick the difference between earnest money deposit, which we lovingly refer to as EMD, or due diligence money, okay? So when you get your offer, underneath the price, there's a couple of lines for dollar amounts. The first one says due diligence. So what this is, is this is a check that gets made out to the seller or the builder or whoever, but whoever is in that seller line, the check will be made out directly to them that the buyer will have to give to the seller. It is, it's made out to them. It is going to be deposited, so don't write a bad check. Um, and what that is, is that is the seller's compensation for taking their home off the market. If the buyer walks for any reason or no reason, if they just decide, they changed their mind, they found a different house, they had an inspection, they didn't like what it had to say, whatever, the seller's not giving that money back unless you close. As long as you close, you will get that money back. But if you don't close, you can say goodbye to that money. Okay, the earnest money deposit, on the other hand, EMD, is made out to either the closing attorney or the listing company or maybe the buyer's agent company. The seller does not have any rights to that because what that is, is that basically is your, the buyer's money that could be the seller's compensation if the buyer decided to walk, but earnest money deposit is always negotiated. There is a chance that you can get that money back. Mostly if you walk during the due diligence period, you can get that back. So a buyer really doesn't have any skin in the game until that due diligence period, which is their time frame that they have to do any and all inspections or just keep looking. That is their time frame to change their mind. If they change their mind in that due diligence period, they have the right to their earnest money deposit back and the seller is just out that money. If they wait till after the due diligence period and then they change their mind, then the seller then has rights to that. It is negotiated on how it gets back and it just depends on why the buyer walked. Sometimes you split it, sometimes the buyer gets it all back, sometimes the seller gets it back, but if you can't agree, then it goes to the courts and you have to go there to get it back or it sits there and it goes to the state. So earnest money deposit and due diligence are two very different things. If I'm working for the seller, I'm gonna ask for due diligence money. Sometimes the buyer won't give it, but that gives the seller immediate buyer skin in the game. But if they only do earnest money deposit, the buyer really doesn't, he can walk and really doesn't affect him at all if he changes his mind. The only person that really loses is the seller because they took their house off the market for a certain amount of time and they have no compensation for that. So they could have missed out on potential buyers. So that is the difference between due diligence and earnest money deposit or EMD, okay? So depending on how I represent you, that's what I'm gonna offer up. But if we get an offer and it's the seller, then we're probably going to ask for due diligence money just to protect you guys. So it depends on who I'm representing, who my duties are to, and whose corner I'm in. But that's the difference. I look forward to working with you guys. Talk to you soon.